Hello everyone, today I've got a really cool story about an artificial jellyfish. Now a team of researchers led by Jana Naroth, from, the researchers are from Harvard and Caltech, they've been working and created this synthetic life form by taking cells from a rat's heart and spreading across a sheet of silicone called demethysiloxane. I think I may even pronounce that accurately, and I, yes, I did say silicone a lot like what is found in breast implants, and they chose it because that's generally a very elastic material. Now what they did is they took the, the heart muscles from the rat and they spread them across the, the sheet of silicone, which had a pattern on it, so they put it in water and they ran an electrical current through it, um, through two electrodes. And what would happen is when the electrical current was were traveling through it, the heart muscles would activate, sort of causing the whole thing to constrict the way a heart would beat. And then the silicone sheet would then snap back because of its elastic properties. And this created a bit of a cycle and soon you had this thing that was sort of swimming through the water the way a jellyfish would. Now it's a really exciting piece of biotechnology and I've got a video for you right here. Now this little guy is about nine millimeters across, so he's pretty small, and he just kind of floats there until you add electrical current. And then he starts swimming about and moving around. And the way he swims is that the uh, the current brings him forward and he pulls the water in towards himself, creating a bit of a current that propels him forward. This is also how jellyfish feed. They bring the water in towards themselves and it might be carrying plankton or fish eggs, and the jellyfish nourish themselves on that. Now this little guy obviously isn't feeding himself, he's just kind of swimming around. And he's called a medusoid, which is sort of a nod to the medusozoa stage of life that a jellyfish finds itself in, when it's got that sort of bulbous head with the tendrils dangling, dangling off of it, kind of like medusa. That's where it got its name from. And that's where this little guy got his name from. Now, as I said before, this is a new biotechnology. And for those who aren't familiar with the term, biotechnology is basically a form of technology that is modeled off the biology already existing within nature. The idea behind it is that instead of experimenting in a lab with various ideas, you look at some of the ideas that have cropped up within nature, things that have solved problems through millions of years of evolution and seeing how those might be applied to problems we have today as human beings. And there are all sorts of examples of how biotechnology has affected our lives. It's one of the most exciting new fields of research, but uh, an example I'd like to use is that of shark skin. Now this is an extreme close-up of the shark, and you can see its skin is made up of tiny little scales, about one-tenth of a millimeter in width. Now if you were to touch a shark, and I do not recommend touching a shark, you would notice its skin feels very rough and coarse, like sandpaper. Now one of the functions of this coarse skin is it prevents the buildup of any sort of material such as bacteria or algae. And this is obviously a huge advantage for the shark because it doesn't have to worry about its skin being covered with any terrible bacteria or algae clinging. Now what about our friend, the little artificial jellyfish? Now moving around like a jellyfish is kind of cool, but what sort of use is this biotechnology for us? You may have remembered that earlier I mentioned this was made using cells taken from a rat's heart. Now, if we could recreate this little jellyfish with human heart cells, we suddenly have something that behaves very much like the human heart. Now, once we've got it beating and moving around like that, we are on our way to creating an artificial heart that's made from human cells, or maybe the person who is in need of the heart, their own cells can be used to grow this artificial heart, something that's a lot more likely to be accepted into the body than the pacemakers we use nowadays. Now, that's obviously pretty huge, and it's one of the most exciting new forms of biotechnology I've seen in a long time. So. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.